Portfolio Problem Solving In 1945, George Folia published a book named How to Solve It, which translated into 17 languages and became his most prized publication. In his book, he implies the four basic principles, understand the problem, devise a plan, carry out the plan, and review the solution. First principle, understand the problem. In solving mathematical problems, you cannot come up with the right answers without trying to understand it. And to help you understand the problem, you can ask this to yourself. Can you restate the problem in your own words? So, for us to understand the problem fully, we can translate it in other languages that we are comfortable. Can you determine what is known about this type of problems? It is to identify what type of problem it is. Is there missing information that, if known, would allow you to solve the problem? It means you need to think carefully in order to solve the problem. Is there extraneous information that is not needed to solve the problem? So, some are just unimportant information or code pampagulo. And what is the goal? So, what do we need to solve and find in the problem? The second basic principle is devise a plan. It pertains to the ways to solve the problem. It's about choosing an appropriate strategy that is best to use. By using strategies, it will be more easier to solve the problems. These strategies are guess and check, look for a pattern, make an unorderly list, draw a picture, eliminate possibilities, Solve a simpler problem, use symmetry, use a model, consider special cases, work backwards, use direct reasoning, use a formula, solve an equation, and be ingenious. The third principle is carry out the plan. In this principle, you need to work carefully and have patience. It is where you will apply the strategy that you have chosen. At some instances, you will realize that it may not work and you can choose another plan. The fourth and last principle is to review the solution. It is where you will make sure that the solution is consistent with the facts of the problem. The interpretation of your solution in the problem will be in this part. This part is where you will reflect and examine what you have done, what worked, and what didn't. By doing this will enable you to predict what strategy to use and solve future problems. And by reviewing the solution, sometimes you may notice errors that you didn't notice. Now, let's have an example. Anastasia invited 266 persons in her dinner party that consists of men, women, and children. There are four times as many men as children and twice as many women as children. How many each are there? Now, if I'm going to state the problem, it will be like this. There are a total of 266 invited persons in Anastasia's dinner party that consists of men, women, and children. The number of men are four times the number of children and the number of women are twice the number of children. Thus, we need to find the number of children first, then the number of men and women. So let x be the number of children because the word children always repeats in the problem. So it will be our clue to know the number of men and to know the number of women. And let 4x be the number of men because the number of men are four times the number of children. And let 2x be the number of women because the number of women are twice the number of children. So the equation that I'm going to use is x plus 4x plus 2x is equal to 266. And to carry out the plan, x plus 4x plus 2x is equal to 266. I'm going to add the x plus 4x plus 2x so it will be 7x. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 7, so the answer will be x 
is equal to 38 and that answer I'm going to substitute it in the equation so 38 plus 4 times 38 plus 2 times 38 is equal to 266 and then 38 plus 152 plus 76 is equal to 266 so 266 is equal to 266 to review the solution there are 38 children 152 men and 76 women with a total of 266 indebted persons in Anastasia's degree party. For example number 2, a college student named Jong Han chose a number then he multiplied by 2 subtracted 138 from the result and got 142. What was the number he chose? Let's use the table again. So after reading and analyzing the problem, I understand that Jong Han chose a number that when you multiplied by 2 and subtracted 138, the answer will be 142. The problem is to know what number he chose. So in device a plan, we can choose any device that we prepare as long as we come up with the right answer. So in this problem, I use guess and check, but I can also use work backwards. So, after using guess and check, it will represent as 2x minus 138 is equal to 142. So, to carry out the plan, so the first number that I guess is 100. So, 2 times 100 is equal to 200. So, 200 minus 138 is equal to 62. So, no, this number is too small to be 142. So, next. So, the second number that I guess is 120. So, 120 times 2 is equal to 240. So, 240 minus 138 is equal to 102. So, again, this is too small. So, the third uh, number that I guess is 140. So, 2 times 140 is equal to 280. 280 minus 138 is equal to 142 so yes this is the correct answer so to review the solution the number chosen by jong han is 140 because 2 times 140 minus 138 is equal to 142 for the next and last example mr hong built a square fence around his property he used a vertical post on each side of the fence how many posts did he use all together? To understand the problem, there are 8 vertical posts on each side of the square fence of Mr. Hong. The problem is to determine how many posts are used all together. Draw a picture, diagram, or model will be the device. And to carry out the plan, make an 8 box on each side, count them manually, then you will get the answer, which is 28. In fact, this problem is not an easy one because this is a tricky question that can make you think that all you need to do is multiply 8 to 4 because we have square but 8 times 4 is equal to 32 so this is wrong because as you can see this is counted twice so to review the solution the total number of posts altogether is 28 and that's it thank you for your time I hope you understand and will help you to solve future mathematical problems.